गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑफ मॉड्यूल फोर वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट जस्टिस इन डिटेल सो बेसिकली दिस लेक्चर इज फोकस्ड ऑन जस्टिस प्रीवियसली वी टॉक अबाउट डायमेंशन ऑफ एजुकेशन देन डायमेंशन ऑफ हेल्थ एंड इन दिस लेक्चर particularly we are going to talk about justice in detail so let's start <clears throat> so as i told you we are studying various dimensions required for human order and in this sequence we talked about education we talked about health now we are going to study justice dimension of justice <clears throat> so what justice means you must must have studied it in which we two which we three but here we are again going to briefly describe here because it is an important dimension for human order so justice means when a human being fulfills his relations fulfill his relationships with other human being while living in a human order is recognized as justice so one way to look at this justice is when a human being is enough capable to ensure the fulfillment of relationship with other human being is justice or we can say we have to live with each other in complementarily we have to fulfill the expected values being able to do that properly has been recognized as justice so this is another way to talk about justice so when we are living in complementarity with the expected values it means we are living with justice or we can say if we are fulfilling all the obligations and duties while living in a relationship is justice so justice appears as an important dimension for a human to live harmoniously and to ensure human order because it is our innate desire it is naturally acceptable to us to live in justice and all of us naturally looking for justice in relationship that's why justice play an important role while living in a society so in society everyone at least expecting the fulfillment of relationship with each other the fulfillment of values with each other so justice is required ability to fulfill justice is required in each and every one so let's see what we are going to study so number 1 the goal achievement of dimensions of justice so objective of justice is to create an environment of mutual trust in the society so if you see the prevalent situation you will find a environment of fear and this fear is because of the absence of this justice so if we ensure justice it creates an environment of mutual trust it means if i am able to ensure justice i am able to see feeling of relationship i am able to ensure feeling of relationship with others like feeling of trust respect when everyone is able to ensure these feelings it creates a environment of mutual trust in the society so to overcome this state of fear from the society justice is required so if one is able to ensure one is able to live with justice a environment of mutual trust is built in the society so one of the objective of justice is to create an environment of mutual trust in the society second is harmonious human human relationship resulting in mutual happiness is the achievement of justice 
So next objective is to ensure harmonious relationship. Harmonious relationship means ensuring mutual happiness with each other. This is an outcome of the justice. So when we live with justice, it ensures mutual happiness as an outcome. That's why justice is required in the society. Then environment of trust and fearlessness is developed in relationship and system when justice is ensured. So when justice is ensured among human beings, when justice is ensured in the society, an environment of trust and fearlessness is developed. That is required to live in harmony. Even if you ask yourself, do you want this justice in the society? What is naturally acceptable to you to live with justice or to live with injustice? So naturally, we get an answer that all of us want to live with justice. And when there is a justice in the society, an environment of trust and fearlessness is developed. And in the absence of justice, we are afraid of inhuman behavior of human being. So if one is not able to ensure these feelings in complementarity, one is not able to fulfill this human-human relationship, there is a fear of inhuman behavior in this situation. So to ensure harmony in the society, an environment of justice, the ability to live with fulfillment of feelings in human-human relationship is required. So these are the objectives of the dimension of justice. Now just recap about the content of justice. And I, I assume you have studied in your HV2, your HV3, but I am recapping here again. So justice is basically recognition of relationship. So if I am aware about the activities going on in me, in fact, activities of realization, activity of understanding, activity of contemplation, then I recognize this relationship with other human being. And once I recognize this relationship with other human being, and I fulfill those values required for a fulfilling relationship. So once I fulfill those values and evaluate the feelings, whether the communicated feelings has been received by the others or not. If it is received by the other as I am trying to communicate the other person, then its outcome is mutual happiness. And this mutual happiness is justice. So basically, in justice, these four steps are involved. So first, I should be able to recognize the feeling of relationship with definiteness. If I am able to recognize this feeling of relationship with definiteness, then justice can be ensured in continuity. So first step is to recognize the relationship the next step is to fulfill all those values which are required for a harmonious relationship. Then evaluation of feeling is required to ensure that my feeling is received by the others or not. If it is received by the others, then its outcome is mutual happiness. And, and if the outcome is mutual happiness, happiness it means justice is ensured. So you have already studied it, it in previous chapters, in fact in module 2 and also in previous courses like UHV2 and UHV3. <clears throat> so with this briefing, with this little background, now we can talk about this relationship behavior and justice in more detail here. So what do you mean by relationship? Coexistence of a human being with the other. So once I realized this coexistence, then I am able to see that 
I coexist with everyone. I coexist with space. I am submerged in space, and each and every unit is submerged in space, and all the submerged unit is related to me. I am coexisting with other units in this space. So once I am able to see this coexistence with human being, it means I am able to see the relationship. So to see the relationship means I am able to see coexistence with other human being. So once I identify this coexistence with other human being, it is a relationship. Then the next step is living in this complementarity. So once I have clarity of this coexistence with other human being, then I try to live in complementarity. So once I try to live in in complementarity, this is behavior. Then living with complementarity in behavior, fulfillment of expected feelings is justice. So expected feelings means what expected feelings? Expected feelings means established values and expressed values. So we studied in previous chapters established values, values that remain intact within us. For example, trust, respect, care, guidance, reverence, glory, gratitude, and love. So we studied these nine feelings as established values in module one. then expressed values we also studied all the expressed values respective to these established values so complementariness compliance till unanimity so both these feelings established values and expressed values are expected so fulfillment of these values are expected from each other so when we live with these expected values in complementarity justice is ensured so justice ensuring established values and expressed values in the behavior so to fulfill to recognize these established values and to fulfill these expressed values the coexistence clarity of coexistence with human being is required so clarity of coexistence with with other human being is relationship and when i fulfill those relationship in complementarity while interacting with human being this is behavior and in behavior these expected values are required so established values are expected from other from me then expressed values are also expected so when we fulfill these established values and expressed values it ensures justice with human being then we can also say that if we fulfill obligations duty and ethics it is also a justice so what does it mean so let's understand the meaning of <coughs> obligations obligations means understanding the issues completely taking full responsibility and execute them so i understand the issue in relationship completely and i take full responsibility to actualize that that is this is obligation and duty is taking the responsibility partially and supporting the person who has taken full responsibility in its execution so if i am not able to fulfill all the responsibilities then i am taking partial responsibility as per my competence and supporting the other person who has taken the full responsibility if this is the case when one has not understood the issue completely so if i am not able to understand the issue completely so at least i am ready to fulfill it in partiality so partially i am able to fulfill the responsibility or you can say executing the things with understanding 
इज ऑब्लिगेशन एंड डूइंग द थिंग्स वाइल अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज ड्यूटी सो बेसिकली दिस ऑब्लिगेशन इज रिलेटेड टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड ड्यूटी इज रिलेटेड टू डूइंग सो वॉट आई हैव अंडरस्टूड आई एम डूइंग दैट इज माई ड्यूटी सो ह्यूमन बींग्स आइडेंटिफाइज द ऑब्लिगेशन एंड डज अकॉर्डिंगली सो वेन एवर अ ह्यूमन बींग अंडरस्टैंड एनी इश्यू ही आइडेंटिफाइज हिज ड्यूटी एंड एक्ट अकॉर्डिंगली सो इन ड्यूटी अ ह्यूमन बींग सपोर्ट द अदर हु हैज द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द थिंग्स ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर रिक्वायर्ड इन ड्यूटी देन वी कैन टॉक अबाउट एथिक्स वॉट एवर वी हैव बीन गिवन एज ए ड्यूटी और वॉट एवर वी आर डूइंग एज ऑब्लिगेशन If we execute it properly, it's termed as ethics. Otherwise, it is unethical. So, ethics means whatever duty is given to me, whatever <coughs> we are doing as obligations, I am doing it honestly. This is ethics. So, if we understand this obligations due to ethics and fulfill it, it can also be said justice. then undivided society based on knowledge and resolution so we studied it earlier that the outcome of justice in everyone is undivided society so understanding and acceptance of relationship we can say it is knowledge so once i understand the coexistence once i accept this coexistence with others this is knowledge and ensuring feeling and thoughts of relationship in the self is resolution so now my now my uh, feelings and thoughts according to acceptance of this coexistence according to the knowledge this is re resolution it means now i am resolved within myself i am able to see relationships with others and expressing these feelings in relationship is just behavior and when this justice is ensured from family to world family this is undivided society so to reach up to this state that is undivided society these are the steps so first step is to ensure knowledge then resolution it will lead to just behavior and when it is ensured through education sanskar in every child then the state of society is undivided society so these steps are required to reach to the state of this undivided society so to ensure undivided society justice is required and for justice these steps are required so one should have the knowledge of relationship clarity of coexistence then resolution at the level of self then ability to express these feelings in relationships and then one can become natural agent of this ensuring justice from family to world family order and it will ensure the state of undivided society so we can now discuss the process of behavior when we interact with human being what would be the process of behavior so in the individual everyone has innate desire to live in relationship everyone has innate feelings in relationship and thoughts for fulfillment of feelings and this fulfillment of feelings reflect in behavior so if i see the other person i am able to see its his behavior so when i observe this behavior i evaluate values indicated by his behavior so one person is behaving using language using words to express himself or herself 
I can only observe those behavior, and with this behavior, I try to evaluate values that is being trying to communicate by the other person. Once I evaluate those values, if I am able to evaluate those values rightly, then the feeling of happiness in the others happens. So I am happy because I am able to evaluate the feelings. I am able to understand the feelings beyond this behavior, and the other is also also feels happy because he understand that I have. understood those feelings therefore a mutual happiness is achieved so if a person a and this is person b so person a has clarity about human human relationship he has innate feeling in relationships with right thoughts right feeling person a tries to express these feelings in behavior because he is with right feelings he evaluate in himself what feelings are required to express and with that feeling he feels happy and when this person b recognize those feelings evaluate those feelings and able to see those feelings from the others he also feels happy therefore mutual happiness is ensured between the person a and person b and this mutual happiness is justice so justice means there is a mutual happiness in interaction of human beings so programs for ensuring justice now we can talk about what programs are required to ensure this justice so justice begins in the family with fulfillment in mutual relationship so justice should be ensured at the family level it means when the child is growing it is a responsibility of the parents to ensure enough ability in the child so that the child is able to recognize the coexistence the feelings and child is able to fulfill those feelings child is able to evaluate those feelings and child is also able to evaluate the feelings is communicated by family members so if we ensure this in the child at the level of family so justice starts from there so we have to prepare our child with the ability to ensure justice in human human relationship so to ensure this justice in the family it is necessary to develop the ability to ensure justice in every individual so, and it is in, it is the role of parents education sanskars education systems whether this ability is developed in a child or not so when the family members as a parents when the teachers when the whole education system work on this ability a child gets equipped with this feeling of justice and justice is the ability to recognize relationship ability to ensure the values in oneself and its expression ability to evaluate values ability to ensure mutual happiness so justice is ensured from family to village to village cluster nation to world family so there is a need of that kind of education system education sanskar that help the child developing this competence so that a child can live with mutual fulfillment in relationships if we ensure all this in our education system if we ensure this at the level of family then a child is able to ensure justice from family to world family it means in his life when wherever he interacts with other he is able to ensure justice with everyone so this program can be made to ensure justice in the society so let's me sum up the whole things 
so we started with the justice we re we recapped the justice and we tried to understand the meaning of justice that is ability to recognize relationship ability to ensure the values in oneself ability to evaluate values and expressed values and the outcome is mutual happiness so if we ensure this justice in everyone then one is able to ensure this justice from family to world family order and this justice is required for a undivided society and in the absence of this justice there is a environment of fear mistrust which is not naturally acceptable to us so for a harmonious society for a good relationships justice is minimum requirement in fact all of us are expecting justice means are expecting expressed values established values in interactions so if we create such kind of education system such kind of shiksha sanskar such kind of policies guidance to families to ensure right shiksha sanskar in their child and by these efforts a child may become a natural agent of ensuring this justice and in this manner justice can be ensured from family to world family order which is expected by everyone so thank you very much that's all from my side for this lecture have a good day thank you very much